Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be putting together a software system. I call this the redneck software system because your biggest expense really is gonna be this right here. It's the Everflow five and a half gallon minute pump. This is gonna be a super simple tutorial. This is your biggest expense. And really you just gotta find the right fittings to put in these half inch ports and all this stuff, this doesn't matter. Uh, all a lot of the stuff doesn't matter. I've just got a bunch of extra stuff that I'm gonna do. You can get away with just a Gilmore gun, just a $13 two pack of these cheap little water hose guns. Uh, we're gonna be using a water hose coming out of this end, and we're gonna use this suction hose come out this end. I gotta make a trip to Lowe's. Um, this is where I got all this stuff besides the pump. I ordered that off Amazon, and I tried to include links to everything. Uh, basically pump suction hose and outlet hose you're going to use whether that's pressure washer hose or just a regular old garden hose i'm using a hundred foot of garden hose and i'm basically going to be using two rainwater drums just blue drums you can get off facebook marketplace 10 bucks a piece you don't need a big ibc tote you don't need none of this junk starting off okay I, i'm going to tell you this first we're going to be batch mixing all right guys we're back at the house after making a run to lowe's things you will need right off the bat. Um, and all this you can get at Lowe's, you can get on Amazon, uh, it's really up to you. I'm gonna link as much stuff as I can possibly link, one being the Everflow pump. <clears throat> this is the five and a half gallon minute. This is what it looks like, this is the box that comes in, Everflow, it's on Amazon, it's where I bought this one. 12 volt pump, that does mean you'll need a 12 volt battery. So, if you don't have you know your car battery sitting around you'll need to get one 150 bucks let's say uh the best battery to get would be a marine uh life uh deep cycle battery uh tools you'll need a uh mine's a bit rusted but some channel locks you'll need some channel locks to uh help you tighten uh some of your fittings in you'll need a uh universal ag sprayer wiring harness and it has a switch on it i think it's like 12 bucks on amazon this is what you're going to be putting onto your battery and it hooks right in here to the pump you don't have to do any wiring it just hooks in very very simple you'll need that you'll need some type of uh, vinyl tubing this is reinforced vinyl tubing it is a uh, five eighths inch ID and OD is 7 8 inch, it's 10 foot long. This is what we're going to be sticking down into our uh, batch mixture, or if you're using an IBC tote, you'll be sticking this down into your tanks that you're gonna be drawing your batch out of. This is basically gonna go on the suction end. It'll go on one of these fittings. I'll tell you what that is in just a second. You're gonna need a few of these bad boys, uh, hose clamps, these are like, you know, 98 cents at Lowe's. Just make sure it's big enough to go over your tubing and you're gonna tighten that down on your barb. And that leads us to the next thing, which is you'll need a barb and an adapter, a male adapter, five eighths inch barb. You'll wanna make it, you know, as big as your tubing hole because that's gonna go into your tubing hole. I prefer brass because we're gonna be sending bleach through it. You can get steel um, but this is going to rust like crazy don't recommend it you can also get poly a lot of people use this just because it's plastic but i don't really trust plastic it could break you never know it shouldn't break because it's going to be on the pump but i don't like that so i go with brass um you know we might use the poly one today i'm probably going to use the brass one uh, but it's this at lowe's it is a uh, five eighth inch barb and half inch uh, male adapter. I don't know if you can tell well you can see that. I can't see the other end of the camera. It's at Lowe's. The ports on your pump are half inch. Both sides. So make sure whatever fittings you're getting, it's half inch. Now this is a fitting I found on Amazon where you can hook your just a regular garden hose. You can you can screw in a garden hose here and it'll go into this port. This It's all outlined to go that way. So we're gonna be spraying our mixture with a garden hose. I mean, it's super simple. You don't have to be super crazy. You don't have to have a big soft wash gun like all these other YouTubers say, and you know, you have to do it this way. No, you do not have to do anything anyway. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Okay, so here's the barb. First thing we're gonna do 
is we're gonna put some Teflon tape on it. You can get this at Lowe's. It should be wherever this fitting is in Lowe's. It's usually where they have Teflon tape. They have it sitting right beside of it, usually. So now we're going to, we're gonna tape our fitting. We're gonna wrap some Teflon tape around the fitting. It's that easy and that simple if I can get it to cooperate. And just like that, we have our fitting Teflon taped up. It's not the greatest job, but you know what, it'll work. Let me try to put this back together. All right, now all we're gonna do is try to get close to the camera. We're just gonna take this and we're gonna screw him right into this hole right here. And I'm gonna screw it hand tight and then I'm gonna take my channel locks and I'm gonna give him probably a turn and a half, maybe a little more, because you don't want your mixture spraying out of this. You know, pretty tight, nothing crazy, not some rocket science, freaking, you gotta have an engineering degree. Super simple, you can make a lot, a lot, a lot of money with this rig. All right, now we have both of our fittings on our pump. I went ahead and put this on last night. Um, same thing that I just showed you here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our reinforced tubing and I'm doing this all in my house right now, but I'm probably gonna have to cut this thing once we move to outside and get uh, the rain barrels to put on this bad boy. So, now what we gotta do, let me use this in. Okay, now what we gotta do, you wanna take your hose clamp, put that on first, okay? All you guys are like, duh, but you never know. You're just gonna put that all the way down as far as you can go right there and i don't have a screwdriver so give me just a second so i don't have my screwdriver with me i don't feel like going out and getting it a 5 16 inch ratchet should do the trick and all we're doing is simply tightening that down on that barb there can be no leaks there can uh nothing's going to get outside of that bar basically the only way it has out for the water is to get sucked into that pump and shot out the garden hose. When you get your suction hose on your pump, I'm coming in because it doesn't really pick up good audio outside. I went and got me some of this one inch uh, PVC tubing and I cut it with just a Sawzall. I cut it just above, I want it to go diagonal into the uh, drum and then I'm gonna run my suction hose through this to keep it straight and not coil up as it likes to do when it goes down in there. And it also holds it at the bottom of the tank. Now what I'm gonna do, a lot of people do this different. I'm gonna take two of these bad boys. It's probably gonna run it and make them rust like crazy. Um, but I'm gonna take two of these bad boys. I'm gonna put them both on the end like so, like opposite directions right here. And I'm gonna put them on the end of the suction hose once it comes out of the tubing to keep it from going back in and through the PVC. And that'll hold that suction hose in down in there. And then I'm gonna cut the suction hose because you don't want a whole big lot. I'm gonna cut it where it's just like just enough to get to the pump, right? Like it's gonna get to the pump. All right guys, and all we're doing here is I'm showing you that I've hooked it up to the battery I was charging before. And all we're gonna do is hit that switch I showed you that we used before, turn it on, and just like magic, it's working. Imagine that, the $300 soft wash system. Here's just a little test of me shooting the water out of it. It's trying to get primed up. I might have a little bit too big of a water hose for it. Probably needs five eighth inch water hose. I wouldn't go any bigger than that. But yeah guys, I mean, for a simple soft wash system, this can make you a ton, a ton, a ton of money, especially if you start getting up on roofs. All right, guys, so do you have a whole lot of reach with that setup? No. That garden hose is 100 foot. I filled the drum halfway up. Um, the suction hose I do need to cut. It's actually a little bit too long. But for $300, you can get you a dolly. Take this ratchet, take that $10 drum, make your batch. Make a 5% batch for a roof is usually the standard. That would be about 30 gallons of water, about 25 gallons of bleach, 12.5%. That's how you make a 5% batch. So take that gold nugget, 
for using uh, the rain barrel setup, take a strap, just any old strap, strap it around the drum. I'm gonna strap it around the dolly and move it wherever I need to move it. Uh, this is a super starter setup. By no means is it like the best softwash rig, not a $17,000 trailer priced at 30K. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa now. Um, this is just a super simple setup. I'm looking for an end. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm looking for, there is a blue nozzle. Like it's kind of like a turbo nozzle. I also have a Southeast Softwash shooter tip here for my actual pressure washer gun. And I might uh, swap that out and swap, uh, switch that around to where uh, I can put on my, uh, my pressure washer hose. I do have a pressure washer for like driveways and uh, fences, but I may swap that out to where I can put a quick connect fitting, put that on there instead of a garden hose, and then put my pressure washer gun on there and just use it as a, uh, as, as a soft wash gun. That's probably doable as well. Uh, this is just gonna get me through, you know, the first few jobs, run the 100 foot hose up the roof, climb up the ladder, wash it down, and then spray it off and then good to go and then eventually upgrade as I go as I get more jobs to be able to use the shooter tips and all that stuff which I have the pressure washer I could use it with the pressure washer but you do never 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 ever 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 pressure wash a roof ever let me say it again ever or never pressure wash vinyl as well so if you don't have a soft wash system, you don't want to go out here and pay. I even think that the North Star or soft wash system that you can buy already made is like 500 bucks. So for $200 less, I didn't even spend $300. I'm just giving it that number. Uh, it's like 200 and something total by the time you buy the hose and everything. Um, I mean, you're talking super, super, super freaking budget soft wash build right there. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go make a mix of 5% and then I am going to wash my driveway and make a video about that. Uh, batch mixing 55 gallon drum to make a 5% very strong batch. That's 5% from using 12.5% bleach from a supplier, uh, commercial bleach, is 30 gallons water, 25 gallons SH. Super simple, super easy little over half of water and then the rest use the 12 and a half and you should be golden um i've already got half of a drum of bleach left that's what i got left from last season i'm going to use i'm just going to put water in it fill it all the way up and that'll be a five percent uh, mix and i'll just take that wherever i need to the problem that you'll run into i think is um loading and unloading the drums on the truck that's going to be the biggest issue or the trailer Preferably you would want to use a trailer, but right now I'm trying to think about how am I going to get that drum on the back of my truck because I don't have my trailer right now. So that's going to be an obstacle. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm back. I haven't been posted to the channel for those of you that are long time viewers. Um, we're going to be going hard at pressure washing this year. I've got some jobs coming up, lined up, and uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to pressure wash my driveway and make a video out of it. Hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.